the Fed is all but promising well, another rate move in December. The Fed funds target range up to two and to two and a quarter percentage points, a 25 basis point move as expected. The phrase monetary policy remains accommodative has been dropped from the statement. And now 12 of 16 committee members say there will be another rate move by the end of the year. That's three quarters of them, probably December because November doesn't have a press conference. There is no change in their 2019 forecast for three rate moves and one in 2020. For the first time they are forecasting 2021, they see no rate moves that year, the terminal rate remaining at 3.4%. Their long run neutral rate is 3%. That is still 40 basis points below their terminal rate. Stronger growth appears to be driving the idea of another rate move this year. Fed officials marked up their median GDP forecast for 2018 to 3.1% from a 2.8% forecast in June. Their assessment is exactly the same as in August, a strengthening job market, strong economic activity and strong household and business spending. But there is no mention of tax cuts or trade policy in the statement. The growth forecast for next year does fall back a little bit to 2.8%. 0.5%. That's still a tenth higher than in June, and it falls to 2% in 2020. Inflation, PCE inflation, should end the year at 2.1%, then tick down to 2% next year, even with stronger growth. Unemployment remains below 4% through 2021, although their Nehru, the full employment number, remains between 4.3 and 4.6%. The vote was. So this is interesting because I do believe that. The crypto prices are going to remain kind of stagnant and um, it's going to be unfortunate because uh, this rate hike in the future as interest rates go up, the cost of debt will go up and a lot of these stocks and uh, bonds will lose a lot of value as the rates will go up because the cost of debt will go up and the value of the bonds at lower rates um, will go down. So I do see then a lot of money leaving. And uh, if you watch the comments on Bloomberg, a lot of people are talking about precious metals as kind of the beneficiary. But I also believe that cryptos will benefit from this because a lot of money will be moving out of the bond and stock and even real estate market. And uh, a lot of people will go in probably cash positions, but another uh, hedge against that would be crypto assets. So let's see what happens. But I do think the future of crypto looks good, but short term, I believe we're going to be in a bear market for a while until uh, these rates start to actually take effect and that the, the global debt bubble starts to burst. But let me know your thoughts on this and I will talk to you soon.